Whenever Lamar Jackson misses practice, I know a lot of people's their, their heads just start going crazy. And I can understand why. Because so many people end up wondering, like, man, what's going on? What's happening? It, is it going down now? And I saw on my Twitter timeline, and, and Twitter is still alive, by the way. But I saw all up and down my Twitter timeline so many people thinking, like, oh, man, did, did it go down? Did the Ravens and Lamar Jackson agree to a contract extension? Especially when you think about the, the timing of everything. Because Lamar Jackson, he's been at practice the past two days. He's been just fine. He ain't been on the injury report or anything like that. So with him missing practice, a lot of people thought, oh, he must be up there talking to EDC. And I can understand, again, why they would think that. But that was not the case. Uh, John Harbaugh said that Lamar Jackson missed practice uh, with a sickness. Um, so Lamar Jackson isn't feeling well. Now, um, what's interesting about that is this usually happens like once a year uh, for Lamar, where he get a little under the weather or whatnot, um, and he, he misses a practice, and we hear about it, and then a lot of people, they end up going crazy, but I feel like we have almost, or we should be sort of accustomed to this, um, the, the, the Lamar sort of, the Lamar flu game, or the Lamar food poisoning game, or whatever it may be, uh, we've seen this uh, for the past couple of years, so... It's, it shouldn't be a surprise or anything, and I don't think anybody should really overreact to it. Like, oh, man, Lamar Jackson's getting sick. I've seen people do the whole, oh, man, his immune system, this and that and that. And that. It's okay. It's okay. Now, um, Harbaugh did say, he said that Lamar Jackson will be playing uh, in the game uh, come Sunday against the Panthers. So he said he's still expected to start. So that's a great thing, and I believe I'm like – 99% sure that Lamar Jackson in his flu games or whatever is the case is, whatever kind of sick he is, I think he's undefeated in those games. I'm pretty sure he is. So hopefully that streak will continue uh, if he plays this Sunday. And hopefully, again, he does play this Sunday. Now, um, one thing that did uh, sort of... It, it it worried me a little bit because we know how Harbaugh is when it comes to talking about injuries. Um, we know sometimes he can be a little um, not not straightforward. And, and who would expect him to be straightforward when it comes to injuries, especially um, because he he also he always talks about how he doesn't want to give uh, too much information toward the, for the other team. Because he wants them to have to prepare for as many people as possible and as many different possibilities as possible so they can't just focus on one guy. So, okay, I, I get it. I get the strategy, the mind games and whatnot. But one thing that kind of concerned me uh, when Harbaugh was talking about Lamar Jackson being sick is that he said that he tried to practice, but he just could not make it because he was too sick. And I was like, oh, all right. So um, it's Friday, um, and I know the NFL, they got some of the best doctors in the world, and I know they, they got probably some of the best medicine in the world and all that because they want these players to play. They want these players to be healthy. They want these players to be full go uh, because the NFL is a business, and like we have been reminded so many times, like even with the, um, the Buffalo and Detroit game, I mean, excuse me, no, the, the Buffalo and uh, – the Browns game that's going to be being played in Detroit. The show must go on. That's what NFL, the show must go on. It ain't stopping for nobody. And in this case, it ain't stopping for no teams. They, they're supposed to be the blizzard in Buffalo. And NFL was like, oh, you think y'all going to get that game canceled? Nope, not on our watch. Let's get it. And when we saw this before, remember 2020? Ooh, we remember 2020. COVID year? And the NFL, that, that schedule got moved around, flipped around. Remember the, the Titans and I think it was the Titans and the Bills game. That, that game ended up, it kept getting pushed back. And obviously the, the, the biggest one was probably the Ravens and Steelers game. Where that game got pushed back and it got changed and the schedule got flipped and the schedule got changed again. Then they were going to play on this day. Then they ended up playing on a Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon. I think it was like, was it like at 3 p.m. or was it at 1 p.m.? I forgot what time it was at. But they ended up playing on a Wednesday afternoon. So, again, the NFL will go on. Um, so, but with Lamar Jackson, um, that part when Harbaugh said that, that, that concerned me a, a little bit. It, it, it did. I can't lie. Because I'm thinking, like, man, um, this dude was sick to the point where he couldn't even practice. He was, he was, he was trying to. And, and, and for Harbaugh to put that out there. And, and maybe this is Harbaugh just playing the mind game. Man, maybe it is. 
And maybe he's playing the mind game with us too. He's like, hey, even for Ravens, I ain't giving them no extra information. I ain't giving them no bonus. It, it, it could be that, hey, Lamar was that sick where he couldn't even practice. Or it could be um, where he was sick and just wasn't feeling well. And maybe Harbaugh tried to maybe make it bigger than what it is. I, I don't know. Hopefully that's what it is. Hopefully that's what the case is. Harbaugh just overemphasizing the uh, the sickness and really just playing extra mind games with the Carolina Panthers. Because uh, it just, that that would concern me a little bit if it was actually true that Lamar, he, he wanted to practice, he tried to practice, but he couldn't make it because he was that sick. So we'll see, man. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see what goes down and how it goes down this Sunday. And again, Harp said Lamar is going to play, so we're going to look at this game like Lamar is going to play and um, won't expect anything else because, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, we don't even want to think about anything else. Um, Ravens, again, they this is a it's, it's a big game. Like, in my opinion, every game moving forward, I mean, every game in the past has been a big game, but every game moving forward is a big game too uh, because the Titans, they just won uh, against the Packers last night. Uh, they took care of business, so they sitting at they sitting at seven and three, I believe. Or are they six? No, they seven and three, I believe. Um, but they so they hold down their spot um, in the AFC, and they get a nice little long break now. Um, the Bills again, they they play the Browns in a couple of days, uh, so they they doing it. They, the Chiefs they play the Chargers this Sunday night, so I know we're hoping that the Chargers pull it out so they could knock the Chiefs down a little bit, but we'll see. So. Ravens, they got to keep up. They got to keep up with everybody else. They, they, they And they got to really just, because they what they need to do, they got to win, obviously. But you need other teams to lose as well in order to really continue to climb uh, those spots in the AFC. Because uh, the, the, the race is tight. Then you got the Dolphins too. You still got the Dolphins as well. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a super tight race, man. It's, it's, it's a super tight race. So we'll see how this thing shakes out. But it's, it's, it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be uh, really fun to see how everything goes. Um, Ravens, of course, like we went over before, their schedule uh, is definitely a favorable schedule uh, for sure. Um, they have a lot of teams on there that just they haven't been that good. They haven't been that successful. They, they haven't been able to close. Uh, so it's up to Ravens to take advantage now. They do play the Steelers twice. They play the Browns again. They play the Bengals again. Um, so I just, again, I, I, I don't, I hope that they go undefeated for the rest of the year. And obviously I would hope they go undefeated all the way to the Super Bowl. I just don't see it though. I don't see it. I, I, I see them in my opinion, um, maybe dropping like two more games. Um, and that wouldn't be a bad record. It would be what? 12 and five. Cause they six and three right now. So yeah, that would be 12 and five. I think they could do that again. I, I want them to do even better. I would love for them to uh to just sweep the AFC North because they already beat the Browns, already beat the Bengals. Um, so you play them two again, and you play the Steelers twice as well. So I would love if they 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 pulled out the broom and then they got the team keep it cleaning on the AFC North. That that'd be great. But I mean, it's it's NFL, man. So things happen. Stuff gets a little crazy, as we know. Um, and and the unexpected happens. So we'll see how it goes, man. But anyway, team keep it clean. Um, I, I really appreciate y'all. I, I thank you all. Shout out to y'all for for rocking with the shorts. Those have been fun to do. Um, uh, so yeah, man, I I just appreciate all the support, man. I, I really do. So hope y'all day is going great. Um, hope everything is going really, really, really good for y'all. Y'all keep your heads up, man. I love y'all. And like Lamar Jackson was today when it came to practicing, we out.